So here I am with my subject, uh, which as you can see is a vase of flour for purpose of demonstration. And uh, this is my Panasonic G7. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing you would have to do to take bracketed images is to keep the mode dial, the left mode dial on to this particular mode, which is basically the bracketing mode. It's a stack of images with a plus and minus symbol on it. And you have to use the right mode dial in either the P mode, the A mode, the S mode, or the M mode, which is basically the manual shutter, aperture, or the program modes. I prefer to keep it in the aperture priority mode. So here we go ahead, um, open the camera, look at the menu options. Oh, I haven't set my location, so it keeps asking me this question. Let me just go ahead and set the location first. Just bear with me, guys, for a minute, please. Okay, now we have, of course, we've got to remove the camera, <coughs> the cap of the camera. Okay, so here's the image, as you would notice. And um, look at the mode. So if you notice that the mode has the camera image here and you know use the section 2 of 8 in my section 2 of 8 it's it's the last option auto bracketed images okay so you go to auto bracketed images look at the options available there so either you can use a single mode or a burst mode uh, i prefer to use the burst mode because it generally takes snaps at you know every depression uh, in single mode, you have to depress the shutter as many number of times as you would have decided to take the uh, the bracketed images. So assuming that you take three bracketed images, you will have to depress the shutter three times. Whereas in the sequence burst mode, you just have to depress it once and the camera will automatically th take three images. So let's say for the demonstration purpose, we'll go ahead and choose three images. You can also choose five, seven, at various combinations you know at half a stop or one third of a stop so let's just keep it at three stops which should give you a fairly good <coughs> range of bracket uh, of stops but you know a lot of uh, photographers also prefer to take the minus two minus three and plus two and plus three options okay with that option chosen you merely have to just focus the image and press the shutter and there you got you got the image captured now now you have to go back in post processing and combine these images so let's catch up there okay uh, so here back at the post production venue i uh, i'm going to use a software called photometric which we will use to combine the images so let me go ahead and open the software i'm using the trial version of the software i'm going to load the bracketed images here those are the images that we had taken. There were three pictures. So I will choose all the three pictures, load them up. And it gives me various options to merge the HDR image, align source, remove ghosts, remove noise, and remove any chromatic abrasion. I will go ahead and say yes to all of that. There is also a tutorial option if you would like to go here, but it's fairly simple software to use. It does leave a watermark at the image at the end of the image processing, but that the only hitch with the with the non-paid version. If you use the paid version, I presume the watermark goes away. So it is right now aligning the source images, and very shortly we will see the final product. So there we go. As you notice, the Aperture has pretty much remained at f2.5 stop, ISO at 200, but the shutter speed has decreased, or rather increased from 1 800th of a second to 1600 of a second to 3200 of a second. You can remove or increase the ghosting, and then that pretty much helps you get a very, very clear image and it's detecting the ghosts and then merging the HDR image. It's a very decent software
software, I would definitely recommend that we buy this software. I don't know if there are any other similar software available. It takes a bit of a time. Okay, so now as you see, it's created a background of the image. It, this is the HDR image with a very good high dynamic range. You can go and see a close-up version of these. You also have various options here, default, balance, photogrammetric, photographic, so on and so forth, which basically enhances the image quality as the way you want to look at it. This, some of these images might not look really realistic, so you may want to change that as well. Um, I'll use a slightly less dynamic image here. So I, I, I sort of like this particular picture. It gives you a good flavor of the overall image and it also, you know, takes out the highlights and shows you. Uh, you can go and say apply to it and uh, it will produce the final image for you to use. Uh, so there is the final image. You can further do sharpening of this image if you would like to. Uh, and if you say you're done, here's the final picture. As I told you, there is a watermark in this image, uh, but otherwise it looks pretty decent. So this was uh, a quick demonstration of using bracketing option in the Panasonic G7 using multiple sequence mode as a burst shutter option. Hope you like this video. If you have any further comments, please put them in the comment section. Thank you again for watching this video.